Hey yo folks, um, I'm going to be uh, going along in case I can't be here to do the to set up the oxy fuel um, cutting station with you, for you. Uh, if I'm not over here, then you can watch this video as you set it up. Okay, so I'm going to be reading off the checklist um, and showing you what to do. So step one, check the thickness of the metal to be cut or welded. Um, so on the table, there's a thickness gauge. Check the thickness of what you want to cut. This happens to be one quarter. Uh, step two, refer to the welding tip selection chart to determine the recommended size and the regular pressure for uh, regular regulator pressure setting for the job. Okay, so you're gonna look at the, notice it says cutting tip selection. So make sure that you're looking at the cutting tip chart and find where it says one quarter. And the tip we're using is the double aught tip. Remember in welding tips, um, you say aught for zero. So, so quarter inch, we want a double aught tip. Um, when you look at the tip, uh, you can see that there's the double zero, the double aught tip. So we have a double aught tip. Then you're gonna look at the chart for cutting oxygen. Um, cutting oxygen and for a double aught, you're gonna see that it says 20 to 25. Double aught, 20 to 25. And you're gonna look at the acetylene pressure and it says three to five. Okay, so we're gonna set our oxygen to 20 to 25, our acetylene to three to five. Okay, next step, it says open the oxygen valve. Uh, the oxygen cylinder valve. So I'm going to bring you over here to the oxygen and put you down here so you can see. Okay, here's the oxygen cylinder valve. This is the regulator. Step one, or this is now step number three. Open the oxygen cylinder valve all the way until it stops. So you're gonna stand away from the regulator in case, remember there's like 2,000 pounds of pressure in here. So I'm on the opposite side of the regulator and I'm gonna go slowly, but then I'm gonna open it all the way up. It's a lot of turns. Okay. Now I'm going to open up, uh, step four is open up the acetylene cylinder okay so here's the acetylene cylinder and it says open the acetylene cylinder no more than one turn so i want to open it but not all the way just one no more than one turn okay now we're gonna set the regulators um, so I'm going to show you the side of the regulator. So here's the, let's see, bring you down, bring you down. Okay. So you can see on the side of the, re the regulator, it says decrease this way, increase this way. So when I'm turning it, to increase, I'm going to be turning it this way, this way. Okay, so if you forget, look at the regulator. Um, now next, I'm gonna position you. Okay. So when you're setting a regulator, the valve on the torch, so this is the oxygen valve, 
this valve has to be open. Um, if the valve is closed, you're not going to get an accurate measurement on your regulator. So my oxygen valve is open. I'm now going to turn the regulator. And it's just free spinning, but now I'm starting to get some resistance. And you see where the 20 is in the gray? I want, I'm putting between 20 and 25 pounds per square inch. So I'm gonna increase this till I get above the 20, between the 20 and the 25. Then I'm gonna close the valve on the torch. My acetylene, or my oxygen is now set. I'm gonna do the same thing with the acetylene. I'm gonna bring you over here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is open the acetylene valve on the torch. Now I can adjust the acetylene pressure. Again, I'm looking at the side of the regulator to see which way to turn. And I'm going to increase. And remember the acetylene, I need it to be between three and five. Okay, it's going up. Okay, so I'm gonna go one line below five, that's four. And now it's set and I have to turn off my acetylene. Oop, turned it the wrong way. Okay, so now the acetylene on the torch is done. So now let me review how to light the torch and how to cut. So here's my burn bar. I want the overhang of the burn bar up. So like when I put the piece I want to cut on it, the torch isn't going to melt the burn bar because there's a, a like space there so that I can use the burn bar over and over again and it won't get melted. I'm going to put the clamp away from where I want to cut. So I'm going to cut on this side. So I want the clamp away from me over here. Okay. I also, I set up the burn bar so that I wouldn't be cutting the table. Notice that the burn bar is on the outside of the table. So now I have my torch in my hand and I'm going to go through the steps of lighting it. I'm going to put on my PPE, my gloves and welding for my oxy shield. Okay, so remember, the first step is to turn on the acetylene just a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my striker to light the torch. And I'm gonna be over here. Okay, now I'm gonna increase the acetylene until the smoke goes away like that. Now I'm going to increase the oxygen and I'm looking at the feather. You see that feather there? And I'm going to continue to increase the oxygen until the feather goes away. As soon as the feather goes away, I'm going to let go of the valve. I'm going to check my feather. And it looks good. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get that corner red hot. 
when the corner is red hot, I'm gonna come off of it and I'm gonna hit the oxygen lever and start my cut. If, I, if my cut stops, I'm going to hit the, heat that corner up, go back over the cut, and hit the oxygen lever again. Settling first, I turn off the oxygen second. Um, one thing about that cut, if, if you probably noticed that my cut stopped like two or three times. One thing you can do to make it easier on yourself is if you grind off the mill scale in the middle, there's less chance of of that um, happening. You just the mill scale reflects the flame and it's harder to cut through mill scale. Okay, lastly, I'm going to close down the tanks and I do that by first closing, let me get you over here. I'm going to close both the valves, the cylinder valves. So close this all the way. Close this all the way. Remember the oxygen is going to take a lot more turns. Once your valves are closed, your cylinder valves are closed, then you're going to bleed the system. That means that you're going to empty the hoses of all the acetylene and the oxygen. So I'm going to open the oxygen, let all that oxygen out of the hose. Now I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to open the acetylene and let all the acetylene out and close it. And now I'm going to back out the regulators all the way. It's important that you do the regulators last so that you make sure that you have all of the oxygen and acetylene out of them before you put it away. So here's the, the regulator. Now I'm going to decrease all the way out. going the wrong way. I'm going to decrease it all the way out, back out the regulator. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to the acetylene and back out the acetylene all the way. Let's see, okay, so increase, decrease. Okay, so this, this system is off and safe for the next person to come over and use.